Hello everyone and welcome back to the Shadow of Dexel development blog. I'm Etsumaru Tsubaki, the creator and lead programmer of Shadow of Dexel. Actually, I'm the only programmer. Anyways, I do have help from you guys helping me create new characters, new locations, and ideas, so I have to thank you as well. Alright, so I've been working... Hey, where are you going? The, the sign disappeared. Hello? Okay. Anyways, today's update is probably one of the biggest updates I've ever done. I've been not showing you guys what I've been doing lately because I was not ready to show you yet. But now I feel that it is time. You're gonna notice everything right away, so let's get started before that thing disappears. Alright, the first thing you're going to see is the grass is much more detailed. So is the sand, and so is the evergreen tree, and the bush. So now we have evergreen trees in addition to the regular trees. Oh no, what is this creature chasing after me? It is a slime. I'm going to hide behind this tree, but not before I chop it down. Oh no, it's going to hurt me. Actually, they can't hurt me yet, but... Uh, oh no, I'm going to collect all this wood. Now I'm going to kill them. Get out of my way, slimes. I collected their soul orbs, and I killed the slimes. The bushes now also look different. Okay, so if you've noticed, I've also slightly changed the size of the room by about 200 times. That's right, the game is now all in one seamless world. Everything is in one world now. So, no more room changing, no more transitions, no more worrying about that. If you want to compare the old grass to the new grass, look at the corners of the road. That is what the old grass looked like. As I walk under this cloud, you can look at it. Now, the sky also has clouds that change periodically. Um, Weather effects are going to be added soon, such as rain, but now we're in Bluewood Village, so I'll talk about that later. Now, in order to make this update, I had to recreate the entire world. I had to replace every single tile, every single everything, so it took me a long time. All of these guys are the same. Everything is pretty much the same, but in different places. Hello, old man. Hey there, Sunny. Now, as you know, the guards are blocking here, and a lot more is done past the guards, but I'm not going to show you guys that yet. Alright, so now I'm going to leave the town, but oh yeah, I can't, because it's actually blocked off this time, so let's go all the way around, after I show you some area over here. The, oop, I just ran over the water. Oh, uh, you're not supposed to be able to do that. I forgot to put the barrier back up, the invisible wall of doom. Also, the flowers now have an animation. This is all thanks to my ability of finding things and learning how to deactivate objects not on the screen, allowing me to run the entire world in one screen. Never again will you have to, except for when you go in buildings, because I'm not going to make that part of the same thing. Now I'm kind of rambling, but I'm going to show you a couple more things before we go today. Alright, we got a sign too, I forgot about that. Added signs. Over here. Oh, oh no! Now, as you can tell, you can now actually pick up the wood. You can also chop down the trees, which is something I pretty much showed you earlier. Now, we're just going to head this way. But what's this? A windmill? Yes, there is a windmill now, because why not? Also, the things cast shadows now. Trees cast shadows. The fences cast shadows. I cast a shadow. Um, this doesn't cast a shadow yet. But up here, we'll find more interesting things, such as this guy chopping down a tree. What does he have to say? Oh, I cannot seem to chop this tree. Hmm. Hey, this is my spot! And then he stops chopping. Interesting, right? Now, did I leave the other thing up here? No, I haven't. But the world is becoming fairly expansive. I'm constantly increasing the size of the world every day by massive amounts. And pretty soon the world will just be huge. So... Let me know what you think about all these updates in the comments. I'll be uploading another just random gameplay video for you guys to watch without commentary. Um, thanks for watching. Leave suggestions, leave comments, and all that good stuff. Remember to sure you can the like button. Thank you, Fox. And I'll see you guys in the next development blog.